everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte and it's time for another product review. I love getting new art supplies, testing them out and seeing what I think about them and sharing this with you. And today I'm going to be trying out this brand of watercolor brush pens and there's 36 of them. No wait, 36 but this set actually has 46 because there's 36 plus 2 plus 8. So the name of this is Zemukui. <laughs> so this one was actually sent to me by the company. They wanted me to review it, test it out. Plus, this is kind of nice, a little pack of watercolor paper. This is the first time I've ever gotten some of this. So the paper in here is kind of like a thinner watercolor paper, so it's got some nice texture on both sides. It comes in this nice little case, which has these little snap snaps to it. 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So 38 markers, including two of these brush pens, if you want to count those. So 36, if you just want to include these. So I'm not quite understanding how they got 36 plus 2 plus 8. Um, that's a little confusing, but before I jump into actually swatching these, this tray here is very beautifully color coded. It goes in from your yellows to greens, blues, purples, pinks, and into oranges and I think maybe a red right here. This one not so much. We have some reds, browns, grays, blacks, orange, back to browns, yellow, blue, back to gray, blue, green, purple. So kind of mixed mesh on this one. All right, so let's go ahead and swatch out the colors. This is where things really started to be familiar. Like, I had used these before. I knew these markers. It's because I already own these markers. I don't own this brand, but I own this exact marker. So I jumped up, ran, and got out my traveling art kits, and one of them is a watercolor brush pen set that I got from Ohuhu. I even did a review about this marker back in 2017. Ton of colors. In fact, I probably should have done a test swatch to swatch all the colors out for you. If you'd like to see a video where I do a test swatch, let me know in the comment section below. I compared the two pens and they are exactly the same. The same color, the same barrel, the same cap, the same brush. The only thing that's different is Ohuhu actually put their branding on the pen. So if you're thinking this looks familiar as well, uh, that's why. So this got me thinking how many other markers are out there that are just like this. So I jumped on Amazon and started researching watercolor brush markers and they have a lot of them on Amazon. I found the Ohuhu brand, I found this brand, I found a lot of brands that are the exact same pen. So I tried to do some research to find out why this was. Is there a huge company somewhere in China that's just making these pens out and then individual companies can buy them and brand them as their own? But I wasn't able to find any information about that. So I reached out to this company to ask them why their brushes are the same as Ohuhu and really haven't got an answer about it except that they are looking into it. So yeah, I don't know the answer to this. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section below. But as far as the markers go, they work great, just like the Ohuhu brand. They're different than other kind of markers. So if you're looking for a, uh, like a, a Copic alternative, this is not it. Um, if you're looking for a Crayola marker, this is not it. It's, a watercolor brush pen is, is totally different. Generally, they're not super juicy. They work slowly. You can add water to them to get them to um, react like watercolor. So the only issue I have with these markers, it really isn't an issue, it's just a question, is why are they the same marker? It's just weird. But if you're curious about what watercolor brush markers are, this is what they do. I will leave a link to this brand, but seriously, if you look on Amazon, you will find hundreds of brands and lots of different options. So yeah, then they're all the same pen, so I don't know what to tell you. So what started off as being an art product review has turned into an art mystery. Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out in this video. I look forward to reading your comments to see if anyone has any answers to this mystery. But until next time, God bless you guys, keep being creative, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye!